have another haul video, and this one's kind of the weird one. I have I have a friend in town. She's over here. She doesn't want to be on camera. Here, wave your hand so your hand shows. There, that's the best. That's the best you get. Anyway, so I took time off from work, and even though she's not a reseller, she's a thrifter, and so obviously thrifting was a big part of. Oh, you know what? I know why I wasn't going to do this today is we still have thrifting to do. Oh. That's okay. This is what I got so far. And then I will finish this video up tomorrow afternoon. That's okay. I used to do it that way anyway. I would like do a bunch of, you know, sometimes when I have, you know, short hauls, I just kind of edit them all together. That's what I'm doing. This is what I've gotten so far. And then there's just going to be a little bit more thrifting tomorrow. That'll be the last day. Then she goes home. Anyway, okay, so the first day we went to um, we went to this thrift store in Boulder City and I'd never been there because it's far and I'll never go back unless I happen to be in the area. But oh my God, their prices were like, they make Goodwill look cheap. They were crazy. If you didn't know it was a thrift store and you just walked in, you wouldn't know it was a thrift store. But I still managed to get three things. Um, so they had a color of the week that was half price. And literally in the entire store, I found one and this other woman found one and that's it. The whole store. I bought the one I found, but this isn't it. This is, the brand is Prima Wear and it is insulated. The reason why I bought this is I had this once before and before I could list it, my cousin said she wanted to buy it and somebody else asked for it. And I was like, I've already told my cousin she can have it. It's, a, it's for wine bottles. I mean, you can use it for for lunch or whatever um, but it's for wine bottles so like if you go to the hollywood bowl for your picnic how fabulous would this be it's so pretty and nobody will know that you have a giant bottle of wine in there and that you're gonna sip all day and then what are the other two things i was gonna have her show what she picked up but she's already packed it all up uh, even in this video, I'm going to have to pause as I go from store to store. Okay, this was the half price item. It was actually on a mannequin. And this one, it was actually reasonably reasonable, reasonably priced to begin with. So at half price, it was really good. I love the, um, it's very retro. It looks like it's tiny, but I can't tell. And there's no size because, oh, it's long because it's handmade and it's really nicely handmade. It's lined. Like whoever made this was good at the sewing thing. Oh, it's it's a maxi. I think this is like I this is I think very Mad Men for a for an like a going to a wedding or something. It's very retro, and it was so pretty. She said this is the vintage version, and then she showed me one, and she says this is the modern version. The modern version was an express dress and was not special in any way and then this item i have never had this brand so i paid up for it because now i can say i have had viore but i can't say i've had it in my closet because this is already spoken for it is a men's size extra large is that right yeah extra large i mean i assume it's a men's this is a nice sort of windbreaker type jacket with a hood Appears to be in perfect condition. Their stuff was in good shape. They didn't have junk out there. You know, they're not like the thrift stores where they put everything out. But they really need to lower their prices. At one point, we were in there. They had a second area with, like, furniture and stuff. And I heard the woman say something about the clothes that were back there and that she can't put it out because the stuff doesn't move faster. Well, I wonder why. Maybe it's because, like, you have sneakers there for $80. And, I mean, I can't remember. They had, like, a LuLaRoe piece. Was it like $30 or something for that LuLaRoe? Really? I never shopped LuLaRoe, even when LuLaRoe was a thing, but I'm not sure that was $30 to begin with. Okay, and then after we did our, the reason why we were there, which was non-shopping related, on the way home, we stopped in Henderson at a store I'd never been to. And it too is not a store I would drive all the way to Henderson just to go to. They had... Flat rate pricing, the pricing was okay, but it wasn't like, you know, as somebody who keeps my cost of goods down, I like to go to dollar days and stuff. Like there was a made well dress, it was $8. I probably would have bought it for four or five, but not for eight because 
I looked at the comps. The comps weren't great. I have a Madewell dress that's new with tag that I can't get any interest in. So it's just like, no, nah, I don't think so. Uh, but I bought this bag. It's a sa the sack. It's not a sack. It's a the sack. Uh, it's a the sack. Pebble leather, really nice leather, soft, just a good basic bag. And it's nice and clean inside, no crumbs. Why do we get crumbs in our bags all the time? I don't know, but we do. We always say, if there's no crumbs in the bag, could they ever really have used it? I don't know. This was half price. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. It doesn't say what the brand is, but it has this, and this says, made in Syria of Benetton, which I don't get. Like, what is of Benetton? Shouldn't it be made in Syria for Benetton? So obviously it's Benetton, or the United, the United Colors of Benetton. Were they always called the United Colors of Benetton, or did they just change to Benetton? She's not talking. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is... Um, I don't know if they're still in business, but I just like this jacket. It's sort of, mm -hmm. it's sort of like a blazer, but it's belted at the waist, and it has a sort of sleek fabric, almost like it would be water resistant, but I don't think so. And it, the it snaps at the front, no size because that's the only tag. So I'm gonna have to try this on, and because I really like it, that's dangerous but I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't want it. So I'm gonna have to think that's probably vintage. I'm gonna look it up. I don't know if Benetton is still in business, do you know? Yeah. Well, they were they were hot for a while with the, um, the young kids. They had all these like diverse ads, you know, showing people of all colors in every ad. They were early for that, making a point of that. Okay, this is Betsy Johnson, which I mentioned and you may know I have a soft spot for. Uh, these are, but there, I saw that Betsy Johnson robe somewhere at one point and I almost bought it, but it was like, there was nothing special about it. So I'm like, okay, I got to stop because Betsy, it's not like it sells really well. I don't have a soft spot because it sells. I don't know, but this is super cute. This is the top high, low hand. Is it a high, low hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that you can see the pink on the inside there with matching like lounge capri pants. I don't know, I could see wearing this as a casual outfit to run to the store or to work if you work in that kind of place. All right, so that was that day. Then the next day, was it the next day? Yeah, we went to the bins. She has never been to the bins. Now I have mentioned that at my bins, I'm usually there six hours. First hour, hour and a half, you can't find anything. Well, we were there about two hours and I did find things, I was surprised. But let's talk about the shoe situation first. So we got there, we didn't get there when it opens, I usually do, go straight to the shoes. So when we got there, of course the shoes had been out already, and so they would have been picked through. And I found two pair boots that I brought, and then I found three shoes that were singles that I never matched. Uh, I was really bummed there were two Todd's driving loafers um, in the same size and the same foot. Uh, one was pebbled leather and I couldn't find them. And I had another guy helping look because he really wanted a pair. I was like, well, if you find them, you get one pair, I get one pair. I think he was taking a picture and talking to someone saying, Todd's driving lo loafers, two of them. You know, he's like, you know, those will sell for like $295. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know Todd's. That's why I want them. But, okay. Then when they did the rotation on that side of the room, they didn't bring out any more shoes. They put clothing bins there. So there were no more shoes in the two hours I was there. So now I'm really worried about what's gonna happen next time. But the two pair that I got, I like. Where are the other boots? Well, they're here somewhere. We'll see if they turn out. But look, in my bolo, I had said that I would like to find some Doc Martens this year because I haven't found Doc Martens in a long time. And this was a picked over bin and they were near each other and near the top. I was like, look, a Doc Martin. Ooh, and there's another Doc Martin. So they're just like a men's chuck a boot. They're in decent shape. I mean, they obviously have been worn. Look, they, they're a little bit worn down right there. A little bit of heel drag. Um, they are a size men's 
11, women's 12, which is odd because I thought the difference is a size and a half on men's and women's, but I don't think Doc Martens does half sizes, which is probably why it's labeled that way. Um, so hopefully, I'm going to shine these up a bit. I will probably do a little black shoe polish, then some Doc Martens, or maybe just Doc Martens. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be faded, but anyway, these are heavy. I have... Oh, that bag too. So I'm gonna have to go over there. These are Prana men's pants in size 33. They're like an outdoorsy hiking pant type like material. Moisture wicking, we'll say. They appear to be in good shape. I think I found a couple of very minor spots, which I will try to take out, but I don't think they're a big deal. Uh. I'm going to pile here, I guess. This is such a pretty dress. Samantha Sung, which I'm not familiar with, but I did look up look up Samantha Sung, and it comps seem to be pretty good. It seems to be a fairly expensive brand. Look how pretty that dress is. Also, like a classic, almost retro style shirt dress. Well, I generally don't think of shirt dresses as having a waist like that, but it's not really a tapered waist. You know, it's not like it goes like, it's not, doesn't look like a terribly fitted waist. But I don't know. Really pretty. This is a size 10. Are you familiar with Samantha Sun? I have not heard of her. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I love this. Ola, Kini, Ola Cassini, size small, made in Hong Kong, vintage. Yeah, vintage. Beaded bodysuit. Isn't that something? Couldn't resist that. I don't think that'll go for very much. Should I do my favorite thing of the whole haul right now? What the heck? It appears to be next. I love this so much. I don't know what to make of it. It doesn't have a size on it. The brand is Fire Wife Fashions. Like that seems to me like a some boutique -y thing or some really someone who makes things in their house and has their own labels printed up. But I did find some things that were firehouse fashions. I can't remember what the, the comps were like because I didn't care because I was buying it anyway. This is the label, Fire, Fire Wife Fashions. I feel like it's some sort of Amish wife who makes a living making dresses or a Mormon or something. No offense. Um, but look at this. Okay, this is the top. This mixed pattern, look at that. This feels like there's crinoline or something in it because it's such a heavy con cotton, but it's just it's just two layers of this fabric. Like that seems to be like good quality because most would put a cheaper fabric in here since it doesn't really show. But, it, well, it kind of does because this goes like this and then this is, the under layer is longer, it's heavy. It's got puffy sleeves with this fabric, and this fabric, if you hadn't noticed, has ice creams on it. She's convinced it's a uniform for an ice, like a Swenson's or something. <laughs> I feel like it would be the ice cream shop at Dollywood or even Main Street USA in Disney, in the Disney parks, but ah, oh, love it. And it, it buttons in the back, it buttons. I feel like there's some things like Amish where they don't believe in zippers. Am I making that up? I feel like there's some group that that zippers are are revolting. <laughs> Do you think that's the Amish? Yeah? Now I have to look that up. If I find that out, it will say something right there. This is my favorite thing of the whole everything. Of everything. Of everything this year, I think. <laughs> it's so amazing. Okay, so. The other day we went to this store, it's called Cal Ranch. It's a very big store that's for ranchers, farmers, handymen. Yeah. Um, and we were like, let's go look at the Western clothes because I don't know I don't know where fashion has gone in Western clothes since I stopped paying attention to it. I'm like, let's see what's happening with the Western world. It, it never changes that much. Um, but they're, you know, learn some new brands, new styles. So they had some beautiful things. Loved this stuff. Super expensive. So there was this brand, and it was called Rock and Roll Cowgirl. And then I go to the bins, and I find these jeans, and what? It's Rock and Roll Cowgirl. I mean, what are the odds? 
It just says rock and roll there, but on here it says rock and roll cowgirl. It's a low rise, but it is the, uh, right, it says it somewhere. Oh, it's the Rival Low Rise Boot Cut 30 by 34, which may, I was like, oh, 30 by 34, maybe it's men's. Yeah, rock and roll cowgirl for men's. Low rise. <laughs> Low rise. Okay, wait, we're going to save the best for last. I'm curious if this was factory produced. I mean, obviously distressed things happen, but then it has this thread over it. I suspect not. Well, may, I don't know, because this is like that too. I'm gonna see if I can find these. I haven't looked this up. It's a boot cut, but I'm not an extreme boot cut. I'd be tempted to try these on if they were uh, not a low rise and not a size 30. 30 is gonna be too big. But wait, look at the pockets. I didn't even get what this was until she pointed it out. Guns, guns on the butt, but that is amazing. With bling, blingy guns on the butt. Look at my guns. Uh, can't believe it. So I'm kind of excited to see what what to add this. Like, what are the odds? We were just there, and I would have had no idea. I would have just seen rock and roll. I would probably have tried to look up rock and roll, and nothing would have come up because I wouldn't have noticed the cowgirl. Uh, I kind of was watching this jacket for a while. Someone picked it up, someone put it back. Someone else picked it up before I could get there, someone put it back. An hour later, I find it in another bin because it was thrown back. It might have been thrown back because the zipper was stuck, but it was just stuck on some fabric. I fixed it. It is a, it is a Calvin Klein puffer jacket. It's really nice. It's super comfy. A little little uh, cheetah print, uh, leopard print in there. Size XL, it it is feather. I don't think it's down, but it's feather. Aren't those the same thing, basically? Um, it is 40%, no, 60% duck down and 40% waterfowl feathers. Okay, it's all feathers. Um, it has a few spots that I'll probably try to clean, but they're... I thought there was another one. There's, I mean, it kind of depends on the light too. Cause like, I, I thought I saw one under the collar here, but it's not showing up. When I put it under the ring light, it will. The only issue with this, as far as I'm concerned, is it says it's an extra large and it does not fit like an extra large. I am not an extra large. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if I'll list it as a junior's extra large. Because the thing is I could list it as an extra large and obviously put in the description, check out these measurements. But people will just see it's an extra large, and that could be a problem. But if I put it under juniors, then that should not be, then they should expect it to be smaller. But then I feel like it's more of a women's coat. So, I don't know. Oh, feels good. All right. Ugh, moving on. The second bag from the bins. I got a lot in two hours. Maybe the, if it was closer, this would be very encouraging because I could just run over there for two hours every once in a while instead of it like being a whole day. Okay, this was the second pair of footwear and they're kids boots. This is my random kids item. It's the only kids item I got, right? I don't think I got another kids item. There were a few cute ones, but I resisted them. These are Sorel. I don't figure these will be listed for more than 25 or 30. I'm not sure. I haven't looked them up, but they're a size one. I don't know what that is. The color probably skews more boy, but um, in good shape. You wouldn't expect tread to be down unless it had passed through several generations because kids aren't the same size long enough to, to do that. Plus winter boots you're wearing in snow. So anyway, I just thought they were really cute. And there's Sorel. And this was, this was all I got in the shoe bins. <laughs> um, lately, all, all I'm selling from my previous bins hauls is shoes. I got a Christmas tree skirt. I almost got two, but the other one was like needed lint rolling for like a week. And I, I'm i trying to like stop and think about it and go, I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to have to lint roll this. It's not going to come up. But it was such a nice plaid. But this is like a velvet or velour Um I can't tell if you can see it because I'm behind it. And it's got a snowman and a tree and a bird. And uh, first we were like, is it a tree or is it a wrap? 
Am I a tree? I am a tree. I thought, I, I haven't added anything to my home section, which is, has only about 20 something items anyway. So I decided to add that. This is Tommy Bahama, which isn't great, but this is the Tommy Bahama type I think people would be more, more apt to look for. Um, it's a size 2XB. I don't know what that means. What's 2XB? Anybody know? Anybody know? 100% uh, silk, you know, Aloha shirts, Hawaiian. It's got palm trees and more palm trees. Someone will like that. I want to find a rain spooner. I've only found rain spooner once. So I'm due for another rain spooner. I bought Dickies, which I don't know, always buy or rarely buy. Dickies Flex Men's Pants. They're new with tag though. I don't understand the size. 44 slash 37U. And even on this tag, it says 44, 37U. What's 37U? So I'm going to list them as a 44, and then I'll measure the inseam. First, I thought maybe it was 37 unfinished, like an inseam, but it is finished. You know, like sometimes pant, unless it was, oh, you know what? It might be because this, you know what? Someone tried to hem these and then gave up and never wore them. So it must be, it's 37 inch inseam unfinished. And then you get it, and then you get it uh, done. So I'm gonna actually undo the seams and just list it. I'll measure it in case they had cut it as well. You know, they might've cut three inches and then done this. And then I'll list it at whatever it is, unfinished. 34 unfinished. Okay, mystery solved. Um, that's, I don't know if that's a good thing that it's like that. They have a date on them, which I thought was really unusual on this tag. It's my birthday, 7-5-22, not my birth year. Um, so anyway, I thought, you know, large man's pants, never worn somebody, you know, I I, I feel like I could make 20 bucks on these. They're cargo. Hmm? They're cargo. Yeah, they're cargo. Uh, this was just poking out of the bin and I picked it up because it is Patagonia. That's three trips in a row where I found one Patagonia thing. On the last one, it was the jacket, which I ended up keeping because it had a couple of issues that I'm, I'm sure I could have st still sold it, but it wouldn't have gotten very much, and it's a good excuse to keep it because I don't have Patagonia. And this is just a tank top with the shelf bra built in. Uh, I can't read. I don't think it says the size, or I can't read it, but I can read everything else, so I don't know why. It looks like a small to me. I will try it on. That's not going to go for much, but, you know, not going to leave Patagonia. I've got a Christmas Christmas sweater, United States Sweaters Holiday, size XL. There were a couple of others, but I didn't take them. I'm being picky, and they were, they were I didn't love the what it said, and they, they had a couple of pulls. But this has a dog, and I know how you dog people can be, if, if you're specific breeds. Um, so, survey says dog is a Boston Terrier, though someone said sometimes called Frenchie. Yeah, that seemed to be unanimous. I posted the picture on Instagram, um, and Dalla Dr. Jennifer, who's a vet, should know and who should know, she said, Oh, look at me. She said it was a Boston Terrier, and then two other people said it, or or maybe more than two. So that's how we'll list it. I like the striped arms. Maybe that reminds me of Waldo. I don't know why I'd like that. It's not like I'm a Waldo fan. Okay. And this is my third pair of men's pants, and hopefully the last of it, because I don't want to get carried away on men's pants. These are REI. Now, I haven't had luck with REI, but it is a good outdoorsy brand, and it is UPF 40 plus, and the hiking season's coming up. This would be perfect. Now, when I used to hike, I always wore long pants. My friend would wear shorts, but I'm afraid of ticks. I do not want Lyme disease. But I don't tuck my pants into my socks, so I'm just fooling myself because it only works if really if you're if they can't get up there at all. <laughs> False security, like being in your house and feeling safe when it's a crime-ridden neighborhood. It isn't really, but if you want to sleep at night, you have to believe that you feel safe. You have to feel safe. I'm constantly going off on a tangent. Did I say what size these are? I don't think so. Do I know it's oh they are a 
36 by 34. I've got some big man's pants. These aren't huge, but I mean, I, I didn't get any like 30s. So these appear to be in excellent condition. I did not see any marks at all. Uh, this is really nice. I don't know the brand. Sometimes this is definitely style based. The brand is DB Sport. It has been dry cleaned. I always leave that on there so they know it's been dry cleaned. I can't guarantee really that it wasn't worn. There's something very Johnny Waz about it. Like I had a Johnny Waz blazer and it had embroidery on the inside. And I thought that was a mark of quality because it's there. They spend money to embroider the inside and it doesn't really add to what it looks like when you're wearing it. So companies that are trying to cut corners and save every penny, they don't waste it on that. This has embroidery on the inside. It says, what does it say? Where there is love, there is life. All right, then. I mean, that's, a, that's an expense. Look at this. It is a gray blazer. So I think it looks green in certain light. We'll see what it looks like in the ring light. And it has all this embroidery. Embro Do you say embroidery? There's somebody I used to watch who would say embroidery. Embroidery. It's embroidered. No, it isn't. It's embroidered. Look at that. And it's soft, like a brushy fabric, um, not like a smooth blazer. It is a size small. It's longer and then tapered at the waist. And I really should not try this on. I like embroidery. I like to buy it, but I'm not really somebody who wears much embroidery. I picked up a scarf just because maybe I'll wrap something in it or include it as a gift with purchase. So I don't know who wants a scarf that says Holland. It's got windmills and little Dutch girls on it. Holland, Friesland, Friesland, F-R-I-E-S-L-A-N-D, Friesland. That's cute. And well, you know, I'm always picking up little things that I have no idea what I'll do with it. You can't really just sell on their own. This is Chico's. She actually found this one for me. Um, size one. I don't do a lot of Chico's, but I will pick it up if I really like it. And this is a nice beaded, like not cropped, but boxy cut jacket. All the beads appear to be in excellent condition and shape, not missing. And it goes around the back too, some beading. Maybe I should do the Monday sourcing as a separate video. This is running long. I don't really want to. Okay, this is ASOS, size large. No, so it's extra large. And it's just a zip up black jacket. I just like this. With a zipper on the sleeve. Okay, this bag needs to go into the washer. I'm gonna pre-treat it and throw it in. And it's a sport sack. And it has elephants, giraffes, and lions on it. Cute, huh? You could wear it as a crossbody. Though apparently crossbodies are not trending this this spring, according to what I've seen on videos. But crossbodies will never go away because it's a practical issue. This is Zara. I am trying to stay away from Zara, but you know, it's lightweight. It was at the bins and it's nice. All this embroidery, embroidery, and on the sleeves, and then the back is plainer with just the embroidery around the bottom. Size small, size medium. Boxy cut as well. Um, ooh, vintage. This is the last one from the bins. A vintage ski jacket. It is Sportif by Sportif USA, made in Hong Kong, Gore-Tex. It's Gore-Tex, size small. This does not look like it was really used. Uh, I don't know how old it is. Hong Kong would be... I don't know what it'd be, 80s? There it says, Sportif USA, Gore-Tex. Colorful, I can't resist this stuff. And that was everything at the bins. And then I have a few more things and then we will pause until 
I go tomorrow. This was from a local thrift store that never runs discounts, so you usually pay more, but these were actually reasonably priced. This is Max Studio, and it's just a pretty summer tank. It's cotton, has this cool fringe at the bottom, and the embroidery. It's a little, little bit, um, you know, a little bit boho-y, I would say. Though that is not something I do well with. I don't like make a point of looking for boho. I thought this was so pretty. This is, and it's new with tag, but it does not have the original price because that was cut off. The brand is Sui by Anna Sui, which I guess is probably a diffusion Sui. Show you the tag. Uh, I've never tried anything uh, by this designer. It reminds me of that, what did I say that pottery, that those dishes are called? That wedge would, uh, you know, with the blue, oh, I can't think of it. Anyway, look at this. Look how cute that is. I've got that V-neck line. It's got a bit of a baby doll look to it. And these puffy sleeves. Willow wear. Willow wear. You know what that is, right? Isn't that cute? New with tag. I, I was surprised they didn't charge more for that. I like to do that. I don't think I've ever found anything with a new with tag there that wasn't higher priced than the other things in its category because of that. Uh, we stopped at an estate sale and I got one item. It's in this bag. It is... tag it is all saints which i understand this is an older label but this is such a weird thing um somebody had sold one that she bought in london said she doesn't even know if it was ever sold in the states there's only one available right now it's on ebay and i think they're asking 140 for it i think they're crazy the one that had sold sold for 45 but it had had moth holes, and then she had the moth holes repaired, so that might be part of the reason. This does not have moth holes. Uh, the one on, uh, was it uh, eBay, it says it's a cashmere blend, but I don't know if it is because there's no tag saying so. It feels like it could be a cashmere blend. It's soft. So it's got all this beadwork. Is that... Where am, what am I looking at? That that sign that, you know, the, the thing that's women's and the other one is men's, is means man. Uh, where is it? I can see it in here and I can't see it on here. Okay, that is so bizarre. This, where it's a circle and it goes like that and there. And yet I can barely see it otherwise. Isn't that the sign of women? You know that sign? It's like that. Can you see it? You can see it really clearly here, which is so weird. Anyway, in the back, it started with my friend saying, is that a cross? I'm like, oh, it is a cross. There's a cross and I don't know, a sort of a horseshoe. And then I'm like, oh my God, it says pearly queen. I'm like what's pearly queen? I have no idea. Pearly Queen. So I started to think that someone did this, that it had been a plain sweater, and then they did it. But it turns out they didn't. So I don't know what I'm going to list this at. Not 140, but not 45. So that narrows it down. Uh, okay, then that's everything. Then we went to Perum, which is like a little, oh, like about an hour and 15 minutes away. And we're just going because, yeah, Pahrump is nothing to see. But it's just like, you know, a little day trip. We'll take a drive. And I had a list of every thrift store there. Um, unfortunately, the thrift stores closed at 3. So, and we got there a little later because I made a wrong turn. And we started going in the wrong direction. So, we ended up not going to all the thrift stores. But we had a good time and we got some stuff. This was actually a quilt shop that went out of business. 
and I bought, and I don't normally buy yarn. I make, if you don't know, I crochet scrunchies mostly out of yarn that's been donated to me and I have tons of it so it doesn't really cost me anything and I use it as gifts with purchase but I wanted to make one that looked like velvet so I was like I want to buy some velvet yarn um so I bought these three because they were half price because the shop was clothing close it closing closing um so I'm gonna make some velvet scrunchies I'll actually I bought the three because I thought I'll make one of each color and then I'll sell them as a lot of three this thrift store the thrift stores were were a little bit overpriced, um, and some of them were more like antique stores. So this thrift store, like everything inside, was more of an antique store. It had lots of odds and ends, and the clothes that were there were all priced high as like sort of collectible type things. Um, but then in the back, they have this wide open, and they just had buckets of clothing, and then some hanging, and you just brought them up and said, how much will you charge me for this? Which is not my favorite way to shop. But I took these two and I agreed to it. So this is Abercrombie and Fitch, not a big deal, but I like the waffle knit, long sleeve. I like those sweaters. I thought it was sporty. It's a size XL. Yes, I can, I don't need to keep these. This is so vintage. It is Wilson's suede and leather, size 14, made in Korea. And it is a red leather straight skirt. It almost can appear to be an animal print, but I don't think it really is. And then the cutest part is it has this back side vent or back vent and it has snaps. So you could close those vents, that vent if you want to, though you probably wouldn't. Then we went to, oh, we started out actually at the Goodwill in Perum. I think this is the last of it. Yes, yeah. this was the first store in Pahrump. I got these Athletas. I got a 20% discount at Goodwills of Southern Nevada on a regular day, so that helps, unless it's red tag, which, I, which are all overpriced. But these are just like a comfy, it seems linen-y, but it isn't. It's cotton, lounge pant, loose fit, I had a pair almost exactly like this that was a different brand, and they took a while because they weren't a very good brand, but they sold, and I liked them. I would have wanted to keep them if they had fit me. It has pockets in the back and in the front. Oh, this has a zip pocket. That's unusual. Two more things, and then I'm going to pause until we go shopping tomorrow. These are Rocky Mountain jeans, which is funny because we had just been talking about these because now they call them Rockies. I mean, like the tag, I think. They only call them Rockies. And my friend was like, I don't know. Did they ever really call them Rocky Mountain? I'm like, yeah, uh, proof is here now. It's got a little keyhole in the back, which is so cowgirl. Not something I would, like, I would not have bought these for myself. They're really small. But the, Rockies tend, first of all, they wear them skin tight. Second of all, they're generally a pretty high waist. So this would be, you know compared to this, would appear small. They're actually a size 1 or 25. They list it as both. And their boot cut is actually, it's really a straight leg. It's just wide enough to go over your boots. And I don't know what the length is. Probably on the long side because they wear these stacked. And last item. I've never had this brand, so I'm happy about that. And it's new with tag. It is Holly Hansen, which I'm only familiar with from watching other people's videos. I feel like it's a snowboard type um, brand. And this is a small and I like it. Don't try it on, don't try it on, don't try it on. It's got these bright things, which is, I guess, to help you be seen when you're out there snowboarding. It's definitely for spring skiing, like in Big Bear or, you know, someplace where it's warm. Do I smell smoke? Does it smell like there's, I don't know. I, th I think this needs to be aired out, this one. Anyway, new with tag. There was not a price on the tag. Is there a price on the tag? No, it just has this, alive since 1877. That's a funny thing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna call this new with tag since that's the only tag it has. I'm not sure. What do you think? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. I'm pausing now and we'll come back to finish this off. 
when we're done with this this uh, marathon of sourcing. Okay, we did a little more thrifting. This is the last day of thrifting for my friend's visit. Um, and even though it's going to be a long video, I'm doing it all together. I forgot to show this that I picked up in prom. This item. This was actually at a consignment store. Um, so I did pay more than I normally pay. But it is vintage Orvis made in USA. And look at that. It almost seems handmade. Like it isn't even lined or anything. Um, I did find one on eBay that was priced at over 100 I think. I couldn't resist it. It's got this nice fabric. I could totally see this being homemade. Um, let's see, there's shoulder pads. The shoulder pads are sewn in. So this is, um, let's see, buttons are, oh. Buttons are on the left. This is actually a woman's. I thought it was a men's. Maybe the one I saw. This is actually a men, a women's jacket, this uh, vintage Orvis cowboy jacket that I got at the consignment store. Okay. I don't know if that's better or worse, but it is what it is. That's what it is. Okay, and then today we started out at Goodwill for Dollar Day and then went to Savers, which is overpriced even on a sale day, but I got, I think, 12 things at at Goodwill. I don't get there very often, so these are Antonio Milani, but I just thought they were adorable. Look at these. Look at these ballet flats. They have, they're like, they feel like, I don't know if they're real, but they feel like, you know, horse hair, or pony hair, whatever, with these cute bows in good shape. I wonder they didn't sell them. They were $15. Um, and they are a size eight. There's nothing on here that says what they're made out of, but maybe I'll find something when I do a Google image search. You never know. I'm not really totally into ballet flats, but I think those are really cute. I got a bunch of just like summer stuff that isn't gonna bring me a lot of money, but to just summer up my closet. These are cabbie jeans, size eight. At least on the style, I kinda wish they were a, a bigger size, but Denim, uh, I might say it's Bermuda length. Two buttons there. I don't mind this denim. It's not stretch. This is a dress. This is also Antonio Milani. The size eight. And it's a, uh, it's got the surplice front and the self tie which I don't know if it goes in the front or the back or maybe you could do whatever you want with it we'll see what it looks like when I get it on my mannequin very red hidden zipper in the back I thought it was pretty I think Antonio Milani is not a cheap retail brand okay uh I don't know this was kind of stupid but sheen and it has texas written in animal print this is one of the items where you know i probably shouldn't have bought it because if it sells it's going to sell too low but i don't care um leopard print leopard print oh yeah we got an outfit going here uh, <laughs> these are just very unique the brand is Carlisle Collec Collection. It is made in China, but I'm pretty sure they're vintage. Everything, I, well, actually, I don't know. I saw a lot of Carlisle that was vintage, but they might still be around. But look at this. They're 100% silk. Like just a loose fit kind of lounge pant with elastic waist and pockets. I was up in the air, but it was dollar day, and this was the color, so, yeah. Pair of Calvin Klein shorts, size XXL. Like, rib knit here with a drawstring. Cute flat pockets. They feel sort of linen-y. Yeah, 100% linen. 
That's not bad. Got a bunch of bathing suits. I don't know the brands. This is called Rue Blue. Oh, by Rue 21. Oh, that's not good. But it's a size 3X. It's a purple or eggplant. Kind of nice bathing suit. I won't list this high. Maybe 18. Oh, another dress. This is, uh, I'm hoping this is in good shape. I didn't look at it as closely as I probably should have, but because it's a wrap dress, it was hard. This is 100% um, silk, size six, Diane von Furstenberg. It's really pretty. So it's got sheer arms and sheer is trending for this coming spring season. Sheer with like, but not like sheer that necessarily shows everything. And then it's black there. That's sort of a satiny. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm curious. I, I definitely want to see this on my mannequin. I might even try it on. And it's satin there. It's, I probably shouldn't curse myself, but I really didn't see any pulls. And with it being satin and this being such a sheer silk, there's, I don't, I don't understand how it could be in excellent condition, but so far it looks it. We'll see what happens when I get a better look at it, though. Another bathing suit. I have the plus size bathing suit community covered for a bit. Um, this is, the brand is Unique, but it has the tag, so that's good. And it is a size, size, that other one was 3X. This one's 18W which I assume is bigger than 18. I don't know. Also kind of drapey, and this just ties behind the neck. It's got the bra pads that you can take out. And another bathing suit. This one is a, let's see, Catalina, which I think they just sell it. Walmart. Suddenly slim by Catalina though. 1618. Drapey. And also ties around the neck. Huh? All those bathing suits are very similar. And this one I bought, well, I'll show you and you'll probably know because it has skulls on it. I thought that was cool. Doesn't feel like a high quality bathing suit at all, but I can't read the brand. Oh, you know what? Oh yeah, it's an XXL. And the brand is just sport, sport. But this is totally just for somebody who wants a fun bathing suit for maybe a vacation. It's not for a swimmer, for a swimmer swimmer. And well, two more also bathing suits. Wow, I got a lot of bathing suits today. I never found that many that are the color of the week. This one's new with tag as well. It is. Nanette Lapour, and it's a high waist bottom, French cut, but still pretty, pretty like wide there with a sort of bandeau top. And it was, I don't know what the original price was or where this was sold. I mean, this says, I don't know where that's from. Comparable value, $50, hour low price, $24.99. But still, it's new with tag. I'll probably take that off, and I don't expect to make that much. It's the Cassia Cami Bikini. I don't recognize this tag. Do you like that? What's that red thing in the corner? Kind of a, like, I don't know what the, what the company is. And last but not least of the bathing suits and this, this particular stop, this is Ocean Blue, also new with tag no price tag and i hope oh yeah there is a size it's a size medium but this is it's got a shelf bra with those rubbery things in there which i don't know if you can rem yeah you can remove them and it's got like boy short bottom which i thought was sort of interesting and that is it from the Goodwill. And then I only got three things at Savers because they are overpriced, even at 50% off. This is a Slytherin jacket. 
just a windbreaker with a half zip, I'd say. It's not a quarter zip, maybe a, a third zip. Got a hood. Are these shoes, they're not in the greatest of condition. Um, so I almost didn't get them, but they ended up giving them for me for a much lower price. I didn't know they do that. Um, I was standing in line. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to take this because there's some like dings here. And she says, oh, I could give you a lower price. And so that's good to know because if you if I see something I like and, and I decide not to buy it because it's flawed, I could always go in line and then tell her, oh, I decided I'm not going to take this because of these issues and see if she gives me a lower price. If I think I would want it at the lower price. Sometimes not. Um, but anyway, these are um, Spring Step L'Artiste, which can do okay. I did look I did look up comps, and I only found one pair like this, and they're a size 40, which I think is a good size. So even with the couple of dings, since she gave it to me for a lower price, it seemed like a good idea. And then I'm assuming she gave it to me at the lower price, and then I got 50% off that. And finally, I way overpaid for these because I like them a lot and I'm thinking I will sell, I will try to sell them for a good price. And if there's no bites, I, for what I paid, I would keep them for myself. Like it's a little high for sourcing, but not that bad for somebody keeping it for themselves. These are Timberlands. They're brown suede and they have a Sherpa lining, size eight and a half. They fit me well. And that is it. That is it for this trip of my that my friend was in town where we did a lot of thrifting. And um, I don't need to thrift again for a very long time, but I will. So thank you if you watched this whole very long haul video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.